Hello guys, and welcome back to some FTP with Python code. Now, I'm sorry, and I'm not going to go in it, into it that much, because I've always been over it, um, why I haven't been making videos lately. But I'm going to say I'm sorry, and um, talk to you a little bit about what's been going on with Feed the Beast. Exactly, what's going on? Be Ooh. Five frames, one frame, what's going on with my computer? Why is it lagging so badly? What's going on? Something is causing my computer to lag. Well, why has this spasmatic freeze? Um, this is... Oh. There we go. That was weird. Something is causing it to lag quite a bit. wonder what it is. Anyway, I'll figure that out when I, uh... We do my whole base. Now, most of you guys, it's going to be pretty boring, but in every series, you must start out with a form base, a beginning, a good start. And my series has been going on for like 14 episodes, I'm not sure, 11 episodes, something like that. I'm not going to say it exactly because I'm not sure. But it has been going on for quite some time, and I haven't really done much. No, let's be honest, my videos suck. And what I have been thinking over the past couple of days about it is um I've been really wanting to put out a lot of videos rather than put out videos with good quality. And that's something to me that I think that all YouTubers should do is not focus on the quantity of the video, but the the quantity of how many videos they have, but the quality of how they produce them and how they make them, and all that. And to do that, you must first have a good setting, and a good plot, and a good flow of what you're going to be doing. And to do that, you need a stable base. Now. Feed the Beast has updated a lot since I last played this. I haven't played this in two weeks. Let's get that out there right now. I don't know what's new. I don't know anything like that. So, if there's something new that I'm just being completely retarded about, um, tell me about it. Because I'm not sure at all. But, um, basically, my friend has decided to, uh, not do this anymore because, um, he's got a lot on his plate right now. Let's just put it that way. And, um... I took this down because I don't know how to walk it. But what I do know how to walk is machines. And I kind of want to go the more technical route. He was doing all this, um, yes, it was not just me. He was doing all this, like, fancy, um, let's see, ecosystem. Like, he, he wanted to make it look, um, pretty and all that. No, just no. This is Feed the Beast. This is all about being technical and getting stuff done, mass producing stuff, creating stuff out of nothing. So that's what we're going to be doing. Um, basically, I'm not going to make this place any bigger because I think this is a good start for what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to set up some machines and my main goal, this is probably going to be a pretty long episode, so if you're not um, willing to sit down here, uh, sit here for that long and watch, um, I will probably put, like, a notation telling you to click on it if you do not want to watch me, um, like, do this process of rebuilding. I'll put a little notation down and you guys can just simply... Actually, I'm thinking about how I want to go about this. You guys can simply click on that and um, go to that time and see. Oh, okay, he got that done. He got that done. Looks good. Okay, what's up next? Um, and then probably I may or may not post another video today because something to think about for you guys is that these Feed the Beast episodes actually take a little bit longer than what you actually see on video. These things usually take about two hours to make and then about another 30 minutes to produce and edit for you guys. 
and um, you know that's why there's so few and far between for me is because um they take so long to do so yeah I'm gonna redo my whole base um after I get everything set up I'll show you all the machines, the setup, and all that, how I'm going to be doing any, everything. So, you will get to see at the end of this video how I set it back up, how I make it look good, and um, how it's going to look after it. So, um, please stay tuned, and um, I guess for those who are going to be watching this, um, what I am going to do, where's all that zombie noise coming from? I'd like to know. Um, what I am going to be doing is I'm going to be finding where these zombies are coming from. Are in here? No? I don't know where they're coming from. Oh well, whatever. Um, for those who are going to be watching me building, um, it won't be like me straight building, placing a block, placing a block, placing a block. It will most likely just be me, um, doing a lot of cuts, a lot of really fast-paced stuff with some, maybe some time lapses in there. I mean, setting this up and making it look good, putting some machines in there. Now, I guess I'll talk about a little bit about the machines that I want to put in there. Because our main goal today is to um, make a solar panel. So let's open our GUI and take a look. Wrong button. Uh, oh, sorry, wrong button. I don't even remember the keys. Where am I? Oh. Let me change that real quick. Sorry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, take a look, a look at little machines that we are going to be uh, making. So the first machine we're going to be making is an industrial blast furnace. Industrial furnace, industrial blast furnace. And you see, you make it like this. Obviously, that's the recipe for it. Um, and hold shift here. Yeah, I'm just going to use electric circuits. Fence machine to induct induction furnace to make that and to make these copionical heating coils need a rolling machine and I already have all that stuff to do this. If we, ooh, what's going on? If we take a look how to make a rolling machine, actually let me turn down my volume real quick because that is pretty loud. The skeletons. Um, if we take a look about how to make a rolling machine. I have all the parts for. Oh, I totally spelled that wrong. Huh? Rolling. Rolling machine. That's how you make it. It's pretty simple and easy. And uh, that's how you make this thing. The rolling machine. And then you just use that to make the industrial blast furnace. So, overall, it's pretty easy. Uh, nothing too complicated. And um, the main thing I really want to do today is get off using coal. I. By the end of today, I really do not want to use any more coal. <clears throat> I'm also sorry if this audio is kind of bad. Sorry, my mic. Uh, I can't find the cold, so I'm using a headset right now. Um. Anyway, off that subject. Um. But yeah, uh, I want to move off using coal, and I want to uh, use solar power. No. If we take a look. Uh, solar panel. I hope they haven't changed this. I really haven't looked at it since, uh, yeah, just a simple solar panel. Yeah, it's still the same. Um, just by this, I have the carbon plates. I have all this stuff. The only thing I don't have is the silicone. And you need that in industrial blast furnace, um, which you have to make. Oh, I also need a centrif centrifuge. Is that right? Yeah, industrial centrifuge. And, um, Gotta do is industrial centrifuge, so let's take a look how to make that real quick. And then uh, we'll get out of this GUI and we'll start building. Um, and we'll get this house done and then we'll get all everything set up. Uh, industrial centrifuge, here we go. Again, not that... Not that bad, events... events Advanced machine block, refined iron, extractor, I have one of those. Um, 
an event socket. So again, not that bad. Pretty simple to use. Uh, I mean, pretty simple to build. Um, yeah. So let's. I'm gonna get this set up, and I'll see you guys real quick. I might also take a quick commercial break, and I'll be right back with you guys. See ya. Okay, guys. So I have decided that I will be doing these a little step by steps. So, as you can tell, I removed the first layer. The next layer will be this right here, going down to my room, and then I'll get back to you guys when that is done. All right. So here's one side done, and that's the second side done. This is taking a little bit longer than I was expecting. Actually, tell the truth, I was expecting it to get a little bit faster than it is now. Um, so I might have to break this up until two days, and you probably won't get it, this video until later on today. Let's say Saturday. So today is one o'clock in the morning on Saturday, and yeah, so you probably get like five o'clock. Alright, so I'm going to start on the next section, which is going to be this down here. I'm not sure how long it's going to take, but I hope it doesn't take that long, because i got some stuff to do today, and i got to get to bed really badly. <laughs> so I'm going to get started on that right now. Alright, hello guys, welcome back. Um, So, I got done with all this. Guess what? I'm not falling because my friend logged on and gave me back my jetpack. Yay! I got my jetpack back, so now I can fly and do stuff a lot easier. Um, so basically, this is all I did. <laughs> yep. Now this episode is gonna be a lot of busy work. Um, but the next thing that we got to get set up is a stable power supply and to do that we got a couple options we can start with the solar panels or we can go into the nether and pump out some lava and get some energy that way either way we need to get some energy um, produced today and start on the road of becoming more efficient and getting away from coal so um that's what I'm gonna I'm gonna read up on which one's better, magma or solar power, and uh, I guess we'll start from there. So I'll be back in a sec. Hello guys, we are back, and uh, <laughs> this is what's left. I dug all that out. Um, pretty easy. I thought it would take a little bit longer than what I was expecting, but actually it was pretty short. Um, I just have a little storage area over here, um, just some stuff, I don't really, not enough room yet to put it in, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. so, um, I just was making some advanced alloy stuff in this walling machine, which I made, um, using the four pistons for iron in a crafting bench, then I made some more magmatic engines. Well, I made one more because I already had two. Um, yeah, and that's it. And what else did I do? Uh, I put some pumpkins in for lighting. I'm not sure if I like that or not. I it looks okay up here with the grass, but I'm not sure about with the stone. Oh, let me go to bed real quick. <sighs> Alright, good morning guys. <laughs> so, um, I went to bed, so now it's about 12 o'clock now. Um, I got two jetpacks because, well, this one I made because my friend had this one, so. Now I got two jetpacks, yay. B. <laughs> I guess I'll leave one down here, I'll leave one up there, or something like that, I'm not exactly sure. Anyway, um. What we are working on right now is a centrifuge. Nope, didn't put the end in. Oh, lag. There we go. 
So the centrifuge, and I'm making these event things right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and make those. Take a look. Got that. That. And the only thing I'm missing is upstairs, and we'll finish making these upstairs. I put in this ladder here because sometimes the jetpack runs out of fuel, and I'm, I can't get up here without it. So, this might there we go. We need four of these, and there we go. We can make our advanced machine blocks. Oh, and I'll show you the recipes for this. You make that, like that. And this is in the walling machine. And you make this, like that, with refined iron. And you compress coal. Well, okay. You compress carbon mesh, and you get it from carbon fiber. Which you get from coal dust, which you get by macerating. Oh, po I think. Oh, God. Is that all I need? Check one more time. Yeah, that's all I need. So, I'm all good. And now we have two advanced machine blocks. Yay! So, I think we have. Uh, we have now everything that we need for our centrifuge. And, yeah, I got the instructor, I got this, I got the advanced circuits. Alright, so we're all ready to make our centrifuge. So if we go ahead over here. Oh, do I not have any more refined iron? Oh, no. I got a smelt some iron. Uh, so close, too. <laughs> So we only need four pieces, it shouldn't be that hard to get that pretty fast. Um, also, my things up here was the extractor. Yep, okay. Let's just melt four pieces. Let's do eight, just so we're not wasting anything. And I could do a sit. Let me get rid of the shading effect real quick. <coughs> mm, sorry about that. <laughs> Uh, I got tons of food. It's an insane amount of food. What? Oh. Just like to see. Okay, there we go. <laughs> um, so I'm not sure. Alright, let me put on my jetpack so I can show you guys what I'm about to talk about. Like, um, I was building this and I'm not sure. <laughs> Hello, Bat. Um, I'm not sure if I like this or not. I don't know. It's just, I guess it's my preference, but um, I'm using these fences to look like they're holding up, like that side, and then the pillows, I don't know, eh, I'm not sure if I like it or not, so that might be changed, and if it is, no big deal really for you guys, but um, might take a little bit of walk for me, alright, good, 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 alright, you guys ready? Oh, oh, there we go, fan sockets. I didn't make those for a second. So you put the advanced sockets like this. I'll show you the, how to make the advanced sockets. It's just like that. Electric socket is just like that with copper cable. That's how you make copper cable. So then put your refined iron in the corners. Put your extractor in the middle. And put your advanced machine blocks on the back. And you got industrial centrifuge. Oh yeah. One button. Do you happy dance? Do you happy dance? Do the happy dance? Oh yeah, oh yeah, we did it, we did it, oh yeah, oh yeah, we made all centrifuge, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Alright, so, <clears throat> next thing we're going to be making is going to be a blast furnace. And I'll get back with you guys when I have that ready and set up. <laughs> that was not the right key to end the... Uh. Alright guys, so we're ready to make our blast furnace. I have all the components in here. Let's just make this thing. It's this. This. And voila. Now we have an industrial blast furnace. <clears throat> and um, also, I made a coke oven so we can... Uh, Turn our coal into coke. 
So, let me build that real quick. Turn last piece. Voila. And all complete. Let's say make a coke oven using coke oven brick. I'm going to show you how to make that real quick. Let's say make it. Pretty simple and easy. And I'll go ahead and stick some coal in there for you guys. So you guys can see what it does. Basically it just turns this. Which as you can see it makes 4k EU. And if you come over here and look this makes 16k EU and it's pretty 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 good because it just doesn't take any power or anything it just cooks it and make power so yeah next thing is this thing right here if we go ahead and take a look at this was it one two three all right look at this oh it needs these and technically we don't have any yet but in a few seconds, when I get some, we will. <laughs> Alright, so I'll be right back and we'll have some. Well, these mobs are really loud. Alright, so I'm just waiting for this to finish up. And just make some standard casing here. And, uh, I have enough to make some right now. So, just this. I think I have enough. Right. Yeah, so I'm waiting for a little bit. Um, there we go. 12. 16. That will not be enough. Uh, I can go ahead and lay down the base. We need like 36, if I'm not mistaken. Alright, so. I'm gonna get working on that, guys, and I'll get back with you guys. <sighs> we need machine casings. Oh, wait. They're already here. Yep. Alright, so, last two to put in. Uh, there we go. Last one. Voila. Yay, do the happy dance. Da na 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 Alright. So, if you come behind here and take a look at this, I'll show you what I set up. I have this coke oven, which all the oil is being pumped out to this, which is our tanks made by eight, eight glass in a crafting table in a circle. Alright, so I dug this thing out because my solar panels are going to be up here. So, this needs power now, and uh, what we're going to use for power is coke. And then this industrial centralized, industrial centrifugal. Needs uh, power too, which we are going to be using cook for that too. So I'm going to get that set up and meet you guys back here. Okay guys, so that's all done. And if you come back behind here. Oh, just a little tiny setup I have. This is like the most infinite, inefficient way you could set this thing up. But it will do. So. Oh, what? Okay, that was weird. Um, so let me put my empty cells in here. Yep, here we go. Should be draining a crap ton of power. <laughs> Let's go back here and look at it. Oh, yeah. You have this coke coal in here, which should help a lot. So... I'm not sure how long it said it was going to take. Um, let's see. The cop panel. Just says it's going to take 1,100 seconds. How long is that? Let's see. 40 minutes? No, that's way off. Um. 20 minutes, something like that. I guess I will. Should I cut or I'll talk to you guys a little bit while I clean up some stuff around here. Um, 
let's talk about some like real life stuff I guess <laughs> um ooh talking about real life events in Minecraft yay hmm let's see first thing I want to talk about is if you guys don't know uh, a meteor crashed in Russia and um that's pretty uh weird and like the government like the US government and the Russian government had no idea it was going to happen so that makes me think a little bit that they're not actually doing their job or they'll just they were not paying attention for whatever reason and you know kinda makes me scared cause Mario could just go crashing down and kill us all without even ooh without us even know knowing uh what was coming but not even watching so what they did say was that it was behind the other meteor which um okay so there was two meteors one of them just passed through the um lithosphere um above the earth and the other one ooh ooh man I did not know that was open like that and the other one hit Russia so they're saying the one that passed through the Lysosphere was hiding the one that hit Russia. Which, I don't know. That's weird. Anyway, that's the first thing I wanted to talk about. And the second thing I wanted to talk about is um, the cruise ship. Um, so there's this cruise ship. This is in America. I don't know if they reported it any other place besides America. But the cruise ship, uh, there's a cruise ship and... Um, just yeah, I said there was a cruise ship three times now. Yay, whoopee. Um, and they had an engine file, and it lost all the power. And uh, so they had to get tugboats and help it bring it into shore. And so when they did that, um, just caused a lot of calamity. Uh, so that's pretty. I feel bad for the people on there because now they're probably never going to get on a cruise ship ever again. Mm. Alright, so the second thing is... Oh yeah, I went to a desert and got some cactus. Oh, there's like a desert with a village over there. <laughs> oh, I love that animation. That's cool. That looks really good. <clears throat> So let's start. Let's talk about something else. Hmm. Hmm. That's all I have. <laughs> let's see. Anything else? Uh, I'm thinking. There's gotta be something I want to talk about. Oh, I guess I can talk a little bit about what I've been actually up to on YouTube lately. So I want to talk about this a little bit, guys. Alright, so we all know you have a favorite YouTuber. Let's just get that out of the way. Everybody has their own favorite YouTuber, whether it be the Yorks cast, the Minecraft people, Tabuscus, Sky, uh, Dreadlocks, um, Mudkip. Oh, is that a name? Mudkip? I think that's. Isn't that the guy that has the Mudkip skin? I'm not sure. Whatever. <clears throat> But, think about this way. Everybody has to start out with a humble beginning. Right? Ooh. Some more lag. <laughs> it's weird. It's right when I go right here. Oh, some lag. I bet that's why I hear all these zombie noises from. You know what? I'm gonna go check it out real quick. Let's go. Let's go kill us some zombies real quick. So everybody starts up with this humble beginning. Nobody is great right from the start. Where's it all coming from? It's behind this wall? Okay, I'm not sure where it's coming from. Hmm. 
Oh yeah, and it stops when I come down here. Chicken. There we go. Uh, remember in the beginning of the uh, series, it was a, uh, I was trying to make a giant circle. Hmm. That was never going to happen. Whatever. Uh, guess I can grab some resources that are left behind. Any coal? <laughs> Just do some mindless things. Well, I'm gonna get some resources. Um, and I'll meet you guys back over at the. Um, set Ooh, oh, cats running around. Um, I'll meet you guys back over at the centrifuge when I am done. Uh, when it's done, and I got some resources. All right. So, see you guys later. Alright, so we're here, and it's almost done. Yes, it's almost done. <laughs> Shouldn't be too long now. Guess a little bit more talking. Oh yeah, so what I was saying about um us, us all having a favorite YouTuber is that all YouTubers, whether they be you know, any of the people I mentioned already, they all started out somewhere. Either it being streaming on Twitch, or what was it before Twitch, I forget now. Or, you know, having a really bad mic, or something like that. Either way, they all have beginnings. And where you get those beginnings from is starting out like people with channels so let me explain what I've been doing All right so what I've been doing is I've been typing in minecraft episode 1 and then what's a filter I put today and I find people that are brand new to YouTube and if they sound good I'll give them a likes so I'll tell them they have a good video and it just it just sounds like a friendly thing to do oh here we go here we go come on a little bit more. Uh, it just sounds like a little bit more friendly thing to do. And it helps people start out. Because some people right now who are unknown are like amazing YouTubers. And they just need a little bit of um, support behind that to help them become really good YouTubers. And that's my just little rant on that. Um, it's going to be done a second here. Shouldn't be too long. It was only like five minutes. Hmm. Or a little bit less, I'm not sure. Ten minutes, maybe, something like that. We lost all track of time now. <laughs> Why does this look like an emerald? What is this? This is a lot chest. Huh, that is weird. Oh, my heat just kicked in, so if you guys hear like a really Rolling noise in the background, it's my heat. <laughs> Alright, come on, this can't take that long. Come on. Come on. By the way, this has been a two day video. Oh my gosh. Like, I started at 10 o'clock last night, and it's now 10 o'clock. Oh, uh, not last night. Yeah, last night. And I start, started now at 10.49 today on Saturday. And, man, I never thought something could be this long. Hmm. It's kind of insane. Come on, really? Really? You gotta be this? Oh, yes, there we go, guys. Good job. Good job, guys. Alright, so we got three silicon. Ten more Kree. Three Ruby Dust. Oh yeah. And sixteen Pyrite Dust. From a stack. <laughs> a stack. Oh no no. It's still going, isn't it? Okay. So I put a stack in there so it should have another round to go. Alright, so let's put our silicon in there. Is it doing anything? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Yeah, that's what I'm supposed to do. I'll wait and see if it's what I'm supposed to do or not. 
And I'll be right with you guys if it is what I'm supposed to do. Man, guys, I must be the luckiest guy in the world. Because what what happened was this. Uh, I'll show you in a little bit. This was only at 1,020 heat capacity, but it needed to be at 1,500 heat capacity, and I had exactly enough steel for one of these reinforced machine casings. So let's put this in. What? Is that not enough? Oh man. I'm gonna have to figure out how to make steel now. Ah, oh, god, it sucks. It sucks so badly. Uh. Alright. I'm gonna go figure out how to make steel. Alright, guys, this happens to be the end of the episode because I definitely do not have the resources to make one of these which is required for steel. So I guess the next episode will be me adventuring into the nether to get some of these supplies. So, thank you guys for watching. I've been Python Goad, and I have to go because we don't have enough supplies to make a blast furnace. Hope you guys have all enjoyed this episode. It's been a very long process of me setting this up. So again, if you guys don't mind, please leave a like. And if you have not done already, subscribe for more Feed the Beast and other Minecraft related stuff. Alright, have a good episode. I mean, a good day. Because it's good. I don't know. Goodbye. <laughs>